Welcome to another training session of the TIA portal. In today's session we will learn how to make the sensor block in the TIA portal and how to use this block. First of all we will create new project in the TIA portal. Next we will add a new function block and select ladder logic as language and give this block a name as sensor block. Now this function block is created and opened. Next we will click on this down arrow. In this menu we can create tags for this sensor function block. First of all we will create an input tag named as sensor input with boolean data type. Next in the output section we will create two boolean tags, output and delayed output. Output tag will turn on as the sensor input turns on and goes off as the sensor input goes off. Delayed output tag will turn on after some delay as the sensor input turns on and goes off after some delay as the sensor input goes off. Next in the static tags, we will create two timer tags, on delay timer and off delay timer, with T on data type. Data tags are now created. Next we will make a ladder logic for the sensor block. In the network number 1, we will drag and drop a normal open contact and output coil. We will assign sensor input tag to this normal open contact and output tag to this coil. Now this output tag will be energized as soon as the sensor input turns on. In network number 2, we will write a logic for the delayed output. We will drag and drop a normal open contact and assign it the sensor input tag. Next we will drag and drop a T on timer. Next we will assign on delay timer tag to this T on timer. Next we'll create two timer set point tags, name is on delay set point, and off delay set point with time as data type. Now we will drag and drop on delay set point to the PT input of the T on timer. In network number 2, we will drag and drop a normal close contact and assign it the sensor input tag. Next we will drag and drop a T on timer. Next we will assign off delay timer tag to this T on timer. Now we will drag and drop off delay set point to the PT input of this T on timer. Now in the network number 2, as the sensor input turns on, it will start the on delay timer. And in the network 3, as the sensor input goes off, it will start the off delay timer. Next in the network 4, we will drag and drop a SR latch instruction, and assign it the delayed output tag. Next we will drag and drop a normal open contact at the S or set input of the SR instruction. And next we will assign the Q output of the on delay timer to this normal open contact. Now as the sensor input turns on, this on delay timer turns on, and once this timer is over, its output Q turns on, and in network 4, this contact of the timer closes and set on the delayed output tag. Next we will drag and drop a normal open contact at the R or reset input of the SR instruction. And next we will assign the Q output of the off delay timer to this normal open contact. Now as the sensor input turns off, this off delay timer turns on. And once this timer is over, its output Q turns on. And in network 4, this contact of the timer closes and reset the on delay output tag. Now the function block for the sensor is ready. We will open the OB1 and drag and drop this function block. This will create an instance of this block, we can give it any name. We will drag and drop normal open contact at the sensor input of this instance, and assign it the PLC input I0.0 as. Our actual sensor is connected at the I0.0 input of the PLC. Next we will drag and drop a normal open contact in the network 2. Next copy the name of this DB for this function block instance and paste this name on this normal open contact and if we open this menu, here you will find the output for this function block. We will select this output. 
Now this output is assigned to this contact. Next we will drag and drop a normal open contact in the network 3. Next copy the name of this DB for this function block instance and paste this name on this normal open contact, and select this delayed output. Now this output is assigned to this contact. Next we will assign M30.0, and M30.1 to these contacts. In the last, we will set the set points for these two timers as 2 seconds. Now we will download the program in the PLC and test the ladder logic. As you can see that as the sensor input turns on, the M30.0 bit turns on immediately, but the M30.1 bit turns on after 2 seconds. And as the sensor input goes off, the bit M30.0 turns off immediately, but the bit M30.1 turns off after the delay of 2 seconds. So this is how we can make and use the sensor block. In the next video we will use this sensor block in the ladder logic to understand more practical usage. If you like this video, do share like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more videos. Till next time take care and goodbye.